The Kodo from Yokan. The Kodo was sent to me for a review from Yokan. You can check them out at yokantech.com. This is probably one of the tiniest little vape devices that I've ever seen. It has a standard 510 connector, so you can run any type of atomizer on here, but it's so small that this is definitely designed for lower wattage tanks or drippers. Anyway, let's talk about it. The size is 53 millimeters by 17.5 millimeters by 20 millimeters. It comes in the colors of black, white, blue, and red. It has a 400 milliamp hour battery built in. It has a preheat feature, adjustable voltage, and you can get it for about $12.99. And as you can see, this is tiny. Have you ever seen a device as small as this? You can palm the entire thing in your hand. And my hands aren't huge or anything. I mean, seriously, it's about the size of my thumb. Other than the size though, it's a decent looking device. It's a solid color has some branding on the front, a square firing button, and three LED indicator lights. On the bottom is a micro USB port, and on the top is a 510 connector and a hanging hole for a lanyard. The Kodo has three voltage levels, 2.5, 3, and 3.5 volts. You can set these once the device is already on. Once it's on, click the firing button three times fast, and it'll cycle through each level. One LED light indicates low voltage, two lights means medium and three lights is high. This also has a 10 second preheat function. Now this is new to me. I've never seen a preheat function on a regular e-liquid device. To turn this on, you click the power button twice to heat your material for 10 seconds and then it turns off automatically. And you can press it again twice really fast if you want to stop it quicker than 10 seconds. I've tested this using my normal e-liquid atomizers and it doesn't really seem all that useful in that scenario. So I think this is really catered more towards vaping something like concentrates or medicinal type e-liquids, like what you'd find at a dispensary. But I actually think that's a pretty cool feature. My guess is this works for melting down a concentrate that's a little thick, such as something blended with wax liquidizer. That way it wicks well when you're actually ready to hit it. The battery inside the Kodo is an internal non-removable 400 milliamp hour battery. It's a small battery, but I'd say it's actually pretty big considering the size of the device that it's in. You charge the device using the included micro USB cable and since it's so small, it charges fast in only 30 minutes and you can vape while it's charging. So that's always nice. There are safety features here too, short circuit protection, low voltage protection, and a 15 second cutoff. It's a fairly basic device, but it has some really cool features. It's tiny, it has a big battery for its size, it has adjustable voltage, and it has a preheat function, such as for vaping something like a CBD cartridge. So if that's something that you're interested in, check out yocantech.com for details. All right, thanks for checking out this review and I'll catch you on the next one.